Hey, what's going on, y'all? Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, so look, I had to rub my eye, right? Thinking I hit the pause button, y'all. I hit the end button. So I got to start this reading all over again. So I kind of got my cards laid. I went on to put the tarot cards back. Um, so I'll just reshuffle them. But however, I'm going to still start with these three cards that I got going here. Okay, now y'all know, flip these rolls. Take only what you need. Do not force nothing to fit. If you're feeling triggered by anything I, I'm saying here, please face your mirror, okay? And not my comment section. And I say that in love. My goal is to help you to evolve, okay? It's about your evolution. So if you're focusing on the negative emotions or feelings that you may have and you're expressing them, it's going against what you're trying to manifest for yourself. So I don't want to be the... Um, the force behind you being delayed in the answers of your prayers okay so yeah alignment is key over here on the oracle god channel we healing over here okay so if you're new to my channel and you don't understand how we flow we heal okay all right we evolve okay so yeah um i definitely appreciate each and every last one of y'all i i truly do thank you so much for hitting the like button the thanks button subscribe button as well and I thank y'all for, you know, constantly supporting me. You know, Virgo is my biggest community here on YouTube. So I'm truly blessed by you guys. I am a Virgo myself. All right. Nine, nine is my birthday. So I um, started off partying today. We had a hip hop and brunch, but yep, I started off the day and then I'll be doing some stuff. Um, I probably got three more events that I'm going to do over the duration of the um, rest of the month, but However, what I have here, right? Hold on. Let me think. Holy Spirit, thank you for protecting us. Protect my throat chakra. Um, protect us as we go through the portal. Close the gates to anything that's not in alignment. Thank you that my true guides are here with me to deliver this message. And so it is. So someone is in heaven. I mean, they're very concerned. Okay. I got the mature woman. And then the main male. All right. So... Let's pull tarot. It's been a lot of self-sacrifices being made in this connection with you, Virgo, with your person, because it's definitely third-party energy given all day, okay? It's like this is a continuation from last night's reading. If you have not seen that, definitely check into it, all right? It'll definitely help you to understand what's happening. I, I, I really feel like it's still going into like the next day of that energy, and now we're starting to show the dynamics between you and this person. Okay. Now, even if you aren't an older woman, I mean, it says I'm a tall woman. I'm still seeing over 35, but you may be mature in your age. Okay. Like you're young, but you're mature. Okay. If that makes sense. But however, um, overall, let's see what's the concerns about. All right, here we go. <clears throat> What's the concerns about? Too many cards. What's the concern about? Deception and envy. So the deception and envy card really just kind of speaks about someone wearing a mask. Okay. I feel like you guys, because the King of Swords and the King of Queen of Swords came out a little earlier when I did it. And what I feel like here is that you guys are mirroring each other. You and this person. All right. That King of Swords, Queen of Swords energy all day. Like it's a lot of truth that's being spoken. If it hasn't gotten to that point yet, I'm just letting you know that your person is going to be telling you some truths. Okay. It's like some things that you already knew and you may have already accused them of. It's like now they're coming out and just saying it or issues that you may have already had previously before they're now confronting them. Okay. Um, but yeah, this, this person hasn't always been so honest that's just how just let's just say it like that okay but i want to look up the deception card so i can read it to you guys from the book then i got triumph and i got the throat chakra what i tell you a lot of talking i didn't even see this here a lot of talking a lot of stuff coming to the forefront and this is what is helping you guys to triumph within this connection i'm just seeing that straight like that this is what the concerns is it's like whatever is concerning here um, your person here, they're going to come forth and, and, and just come out and just say some things here to you. So 
<laughs> don't be surprised okay you because i feel like you may not actually i feel like you may not actually um it's gonna take you back a little bit <laughs> okay like you're not gonna know how to say it you may stumble like um uh, uh. so this is really what you know my reasoning behind this right this is why i i responded this way or why i felt this way or why i said what i said you know um and, and just be very honest is what I just heard. Be very transparent. You know, if it was something that made you feel insecure, hey, it made me feel insecure. You know, it made, I was triggered by it because I felt like this, you know, like I was overlooked or I felt, you know, like I, I wasn't self-sufficient enough or I wasn't good enough or, you know, however it is, right? Just go ahead and say what you got to say, right? Because this is the part now where your transparency is key. It's no more wearing this mess, Okay, no more hiding behind that deception. Um, how do you really know the people around you are telling you everything you need to know, right? And that's what the card means upright. So it feels like here, when it came out, it was in a reverse position, okay? Um, yeah, and that's what it was. It's like you guys were not speaking the truth to each other but now you're in this energy or you will be going into this energy here where you're going to be coming from clarity and logic around this joint okay very straightforward um is what i'm seeing here show me what i need to see about the concerns card five of cups comes out so whatever the um personal setback was between you and them because the queen of pentacles is here that's earth sign energy Whatever the setback was between you two, it's a lot of concern around that too is what I'm seeing. A lot of concern about that. Because again, like I said, is this connection, it's been a lot of sacrifices. A lot. It's to the point now where it's just out of your control. It's like one of these things where you have to now just let go because it, it ain't really too much you can do anymore. You know? You can't do anything anymore. It's, it's You only can navigate and do what you need to do for yourself right that sacrifice card that came out earlier um i even had the passion ignited card that came out so this could be a twin flame dynamic and then that three of cups was there too so three third party type situations okay so this is a point now where you guys are at this stage of surrendering is what i feel like i feel like you know if you're the feminine of my collective you're now like you know what i surrender I'm just gonna let go. I, I, I can't any longer. <laughs> okay, like I have nothing else in me to give. And I feel like here, your person is also making, um, doing the th same thing. And that's what the reading was kind of like yesterday. You guys are both choosing a path. And it's like y'all both choosing to let go of something, right? To surrender something feminine. You're surrendering, you know, that control that you're trying to have over how this relationship or this connection goes you're letting go of it and they're letting go of some stuff here involving their, their karmic situation okay and it's a lot of disappointment here between you know everything that has that has literally been transpired between you two look at that two of cups trying to come out okay everything that has transpired between you two all of the setbacks the regret whatever you guys still have this bond. You still have this close friendship with this person. And this is like a connection that's literally built on a union. This is what makes your connection so strong. It's like you have this balance and equal connection with this person. Okay, if you didn't know, it's this, it's, it really is. You both have a mutual um, feeling, mutual feelings towards each other. Okay, and... Look, five of cups still keep trying to come out. And then nine of pentacles in a reverse position. Again, it's like whatever the personal setbacks are, whatever it is that could have happened, you know, in your past. Even I'm, I'm seeing here with that energy, with that nine of pentacles in a reverse. I was about to say divine feminine shit. You may be, right? Virgo, you haven't always been the queen of pentacles upright. Okay. You now you've been working on getting this nine of pentacles because this was in the reverse. You've been working on getting your nine of pentacles. You're still like kind of like working on doing this, right? Almost there. 
just need that one last pinnacle, which would be that family again, right? I said again, so some of you may have been married um, previously before or had, um, you know, one of those relationships where, you know, you, you live together, y'all playing the roles, however, right? But however, yeah, this is, you weren't always there, okay? And that's, I feel like that may have a major role in some of your insecurities here with this person, you know, not feeling like, you are enough, not feeling like you have enough, or, you know, if you're still trying to work on building yourself um, financially for some of you, I feel like this person may have overlooked you at one point or what you thought, right? Because you were not like, they didn't always see you as the queen of Pentacles, but they see you as this queen of Pentacles now. Okay. And I feel like God hid you from this person for a reason why because they had to close out some cycles in their own life okay especially based around their own greed let's just put it that way okay um but however whatever the codependencies are that you individually have I do feel like you guys are beginning to go through some type of transformation here but it's still some stuff that you know that's lingering right that's lingering that's what's kind of been keeping the connection from being able to fully come together right in 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 the way that i'm seeing it here is that especially if this is a divine counterpart yeah the nine of swords is in the reverse this is a, a divine counterpart you know the healing has to take place but what i feel like is that you guys are now learning how to get help from each other you're learning how to be transparent in your feelings now not really holding back like i was saying it's like y'all both coming at each other with that queen of swords king of swords energy right straightforward speaking how you feel no matter how you know embarrassing it may sound okay or how scared you may feel to say it you may still kind of like i said fumble over your words a little bit like trying to get it out but i feel like you're gonna push it out okay Yeah, Ten of Wands, reverse. So you guys have been holding on to a lot. Those thoughts, not saying things, not expressing, you know, what you really truly are feeling, what you grieve over, what makes you sad, you know, what hurts you. It's like you, you, somebody says something, you hold on to it, never really expressing it, but holding on to it, something comes up or is being said later on, you're triggered by it bam you're back in the cycle again okay and this is what i feel like you guys are being taught at this time is to how to be transparent in your feelings virgo you're being taught how to be a little bit more emotional right because i did a reading on that the day before and um if you missed it go back to my channel and check it out okay because you already know i'll be dropping jewels for y'all so we can heal over this joint right we in this together we're all healing, okay? We're all going through it. I'm part of the collective, right? So Virgo, this may trigger, may be triggering, but we are in this to win this. So tune in. So make sure y'all check out that video, all right? It's like when, when it comes to the time to have the healing videos, get like only like a thousand views, okay? But when we start talking about the comics and stuff, man, I'm talking about up into the 10,000 views. We want to heal over here, okay? To a cups. This is what y'all building right now. A partnership. Okay. Tell me about the mature woman. This is what y'all building. This is what it's supposed to look like, right? We we be wanting to jump into stuff so quickly and we never really build the foundation where it can be built on union. It can be equal and balanced where we where you're you know we're loving ourselves right we're working on our own self-acceptance and things like that this is how you have healthy or how you create relationships that are mutual and healthy y'all okay three of cups comes out again here we go again rejoicing and celebrating you guys are going to be able to celebrate that's just how I'm seeing it. Let me see something. I like to read from the Psychic Tarot book because some of the stuff I'd be like, yes. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Let 
I'm trying to do it where I don't have to look in the index, but I may have to. Oh, thank you. It says, a time of celebration, birth, success, and victory is at hand. You're doing what you love most and are pursuing your passion. When you follow your heart and into intuition with zeal, there are no limits to what you can achieve. When the energy of excitement and love is present, you can feel it moving within you. Somehow, love has a way of showing you that you're connected to something much larger than yourself. The number three symbolizes unity. This is where you guys are at or headed to. Unity. Like, this is... Wow. Wow. A equal partnership friendship okay which y'all building is unified that which y'all have is unified okay hmm y'all had a lot of disharmony before this is good y'all I'm saying it's like you see how everything is happening step by step by step each day you get closer to some type of balance within your own personal life or within this connection okay so let's see yeah so celebrate your accomplishments okay that's all i'm saying begin to celebrate your accomplishments you're doing a damn thing mature woman okay tell me about the main male i had a dream about leopards and polar bears and cobra snakes <laughs> it felt so surreal y'all and i was super pumped because i was like let me look this up because every everywhere i went every street i turned there was a there was a leopard but let me tell you when i was growing up my favorite um i always say it's my spirit animal is um lions and leopards and things like that i love jaguars i love all big cats i love big cats y'all and I would dream about little baby cubs all the time when I was a kid, I remember. And even growing up and into the adulthood, big cats, I would dream about them. But this time, it was just a lot of them. Everywhere I went, it was just big cats. And I was, start I was startled because we're walking through neighborhood residential streets, y'all. And there's big fucking cats, <laughs> okay? So we're startled. Everybody's like, what the heck, right? So I'm trying to get away from them. I walk through the alley, and there's this big white polar bear like laying in the ground okay just rolling around in the grass and i'm like what in the world is going on so i go to my house i kind of try to sneak through the back door guess what there's a leopard and then there's a cobra wrapped around the porch steps and i couldn't get in so come to find out the leopard was actually trying to get the cobra to get it out the way but my mom happened to open the back door at the same time and the cobra jumped in the house okay I was freaking out, y'all. And then what ended up happening here, hold on, look, I hope I messed up my lashes. Hold up. Then the, um, my father came. He appeared in the dream somehow, and he caught the cobra and made it a pet, basically. But when I looked it up, you know, to sum it up, it basically was saying that um, the cobra represents femininity, and that's what I've been working on, 1144 p.m. here in Baltimore so the cobra um represents the femininity your intuition your confidence and everything this is what I've been working on like I took a role in um a Baltimore based uh series just for that so I can begin to operate fully in my empress energy so I can gain my confidence right and um and this is everything it stands for it stands for and I want to look it up but I'm like god I don't want to go too deep in it but I feel like this is a major connection here for all of us okay um what and this is why I'm feeling led to really talk about it so it basically was saying you know I'm operating in that yin energy and um look and it went right to it right Seeing how the leopard is known to be a nocturnal hunter, it will bridge the dreamer towards the feminine energy, Mother Earth, or the dynamic force of yin energy. The leopard in the dream just contains more than a symbol of strength. It's, um, it's suggesting that you have now activated this once dormant energy within. I was super pumped, y'all. I was super pumped. I was like, oh my gosh, okay? So, you know, the leopard has very... um acute senses of hearing and their vision and things like that um 
with their intuition, but it's connecting us to, I'm sorry, with hunting, but it's connecting us with our intuition and our psychic awareness. And, um, and that's what this is. It's like, it's telling, it's telling, it was telling me that this power that is being given to me at this time in this next phase of my life, it's like we're unlocking the levels. And that's what I'm telling you, like as we heal and we evolve and we're ascending, we're unlocking levels in our lives and our journey itself where we're we're being um, given new powers and we are reigniting old gifts and things like that from our past life, right? That we have, okay? So it says here, you will always be... a um, Hold up. Okay, so it's talking about if a leopard attacks you, it says if you're not using your gifts, but it represents the creative, intuitive, hidden wisdom and knowing warrior spirit receiving or allowing um, your psychic awareness and um, all of that. So I just really felt really connected to this because I'm like, oh my gosh, right? The impact and the power that's going to be coming through me okay is powerful to to embody the traits of a leopard and knowing that the leopard is literally my spirit animal okay and knowing that you can reach this level of homeostasis i, I don't even know why i said that word i don't think that's what i wanted to use but um reach this level of balance right that yin and that yang the duality that's the goal that's what we're trying to do that's what we're trying to activate okay this is what spirit is trying to pull and push through us <clears throat> excuse me to activate this once dormant energy within okay you 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 wondering why one second hold on y'all i asked my spirit team to protect my throat chakra <laughs> please spirit team help me look let's get ready to start up again y'all <coughs> ah all right something trying to shut me up y'all let me tell you how many, what I'm doing. I, I know for a fact. It's like you can't tell me that what I'm doing is wrong. <laughs> it's so many people, lives that I know I'm touching and helping to activate these gifts. Okay. And this is what, this is what we're going through. We are now going through this ascension. Okay. Where we're supposed to be activating these gifts that are dormant within us. And this is happening between you and this person. That's why I say you have to be dealing, you know, some of you are dealing with a divine counterpart. Some of you are dealing with a karmic energy, of course, but you guys should know the difference by now. And I know you watch thousands of readings, but however, <clears throat> this is where it's at. And you guys, as you are ascending and healing individually, you're learning new things and now you're learning here to literally help each other to work together to be transparent the unity is is happening this connection here is balance okay if look if you ain't got here yet and you sit up here like oh hell you know we still can't get me out of eyes still they still acting you got to continue to bring yourself into balance okay that's that's what it is you know even when you think about it and you're saying we still like this and they still doing that you're still operating on the wrong frequency you're out of balance you may not understand it but you're out of balance you're out of alignment every time you allow yourself to be pulled out of alignment to say what a person isn't doing you're focusing too much on what is not happening you're focusing too much on what you see with your natural eye your focus has to be with your third eye like literally your your faith has to be so strong in the divine okay that you have this ability to literally heal yourself and pull yourself out of this energy okay it's not even about having faith in the divine to fix the connection that you have with this person. That's not going to happen first. God is going to work on you first. Okay. That's how it happens. That's what I'm here to do, to help you to work on those aspects of you, to help you to face whatever triggers you or hurts what's hurting within you when you think of this person or, or whoever, right? But just know that you are triumphing. You will. Okay, even if you can't see it, <clears throat> I want to get this message out. My spirit team, I need help. 
<clears throat> the power of your soul is pushing and nudging you steadily forward. Whether you're setting new goals, developing ideas, or planning a journey, it's essential that it's carefully thought out. When you tap into your inner guidance and balance it with self-control, hard work, and perseverance, it's likely to manifest a triumph outcome. It's time for you to be single-minded and focus on the end goal. What I always talk about, y'all, we got to have tunnel vision around this mug. Come on now. We don't see shit. What? I don't see nothing. All I see is my goal. That's it. Visualize the success results as if it were happening right now. When you've achieved what you set out to do, your ability to meet other life challenges will be significantly, significantly increased. When you try to move forward without balance, direction, or guidance, it's easy to slip off your intended path and be drawn away from your desired goal. Now is not the time to let go or allow the river of life to pull you into its current, as you can so easily lose control. Grab your oars, grip them tightly, and steer carefully towards your highest aim or destination. The Triumph card reminds you that you don't have to be alone with all of life's ups and downs and the challenges that face you. This is a time to tap into the power, powerful knowledge of others, as well as to use the inner resources that are already within you. The triumph card is basically the chariot card in traditional tarot, right? You got the power to do this. As spiritual beings, we have unlimited power at our command. This card represents the inner strength. That's the power card. The strength card has been coming out like clarifying itself, okay, within the reading. You have the inner strength, the willpower, the courage, the compassion, the generosity, and love. At any moment, these beautiful qualities can assist you in coping with an adverse condition in front of you or the many surrounding your life. Set aside the necessary time to resolve these issues. Power represents more than physical external strength. It can also be channeled emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. When you have balance over body, mind, and soul, and with the power of spirit, anything can be overcame, overcome to achieve a positive result. Power and strength can be developed to work in harmony in any given situation. Every obstacle, every error helps build your knowledge and understanding of the world around you. When you make a mistake, it's a chance for you to stop, listen, and ask yourself, what am I supposed to be learning here and how can I make this situation better? Mistakes are great wake up calls in that they provide you with opportunities to discover your weakness, what needs to be changed and which areas of your life need improving equally. They can be a blessing in disguise. Just remember you are power. What's concerning this main male, what I'm hearing is all of these things. They're now in this energy of shit i've made a lot of mistakes okay what do i need to change how can i improve my life how can i improve these situations okay stay in alignment that's that's the only thing your focus need to be virgo it's not about what this person is doing and what they ain't doing it's about what you need to do for you evolve that's it this is what helps you to attract the love and the happiness that you are looking for. Tell me more about this main male. <clears throat> I know it seems like it's easier said than done. I know I get it. I, I can be there too sometimes, but I got I got to a point in my life right now. Look, the power card comes out. <clears throat> what I tell you? That's your people's. That strength card, that, that power card I just read to you. That's and then look, I didn't even pull cards on it. But let me tell you. As you go through the cycles of life, you begin to understand why you're going through certain situations. And when you the more and more you connect here with your higher self and with the divine, your spirit guides and everything, you start to understand and realize that you can overcome any challenge that comes your way. Heed the guidance that you are receiving from your spirit team. Okay? Pay attention to the synchronicities. Don't allow the negativity to be 
or not trusting your a part your partner here or, or or regretting the past and the anxiety to to be the issues here okay that you're facing because it's all a freaking illusion for real if you ever notice what it's doing is keeping you stuck recover heal <clears throat> harmony look at that look at that oh my gosh <laughs> what you will create is a unified connection a bond that's so strong that's equal it's balanced come on y'all some of y'all already here at this point where y'all working well together okay this is what you are creating. Your, your hard work and your effort that you put into you is bringing you in alignment with this person, y'all. Thank you, Spirit, that we ain't had to talk about this karmic energy. I don't even feel like I need to go nowhere with that. I don't need to pull y'all energy. Do I? I feel like I don't. But let me see something here. I know I do feel like I need to pull something else. <sighs> Sorry y'all if my voice kind of got away from the microphone. But... <clears throat> Take me a shower and go to bed. I am tired. <clears throat> Hold the space and see your seeds grow. You planted some seeds in the springtime, is what I just heard. Hold your space because they will just eat. It's like, I feel like you're, you're, you know, some of you, you've already, look, they already broke ground. <laughs> Keep watering them with faith. I thought I'd just seen it. It's Drood. Let me see. Come on now. Thank you, my spirit team. Hold things together. Don't make any sudden moves or changes. Stand strong knowing you are where you are supposed to be. When the Drew card appears in a reading, you're being guided to dig deep within and hold your station. If you're wondering what to do next or have a sense of anxiety about what is unfolding in your life, it's time to shift your perception and move back to a state of trust. Don't change your plans or do anything drastic. Just trust in the process and let everything happen as it needs to before taking any more steps. Think of a tree. It has strong roots yet continues to grow and bear fruit. Your life will be a reflection of this. Hold your space, okay? Spring. Embrace the change that is on the horizon. Allow your dreams to become reality. You are ready to bring to life all of your ideas, inspirations, and projects. When this card appears, you are moving into a space that allows you to really grow, expand, and create in a way you've never done before. There are opportunities for abundance, including financial growth, and for you starting something new. Prepare for a major expansion in your life and soul. When the spring card arrives in a future position of the spread or as the last card in the reading, it can also indicate that the coming spring will usher in important energies with regards to your question or intentions. 
but I feel like this is just more about your soul's <laughs> expansion. Come on now. <laughs> that is it. That is all, y'all. <laughs> Blessings to you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, man, let me tell you, this is amazing, y'all. This is absolutely amazing. Tomorrow, what I'm going to do, right? I'm trying to think. I got these. I was given a couple of ideas that were given to me in the comment section. So I'm kind of reevaluating it and trying to see how I can do it. Where I can start to do life path um, readings. Okay. By your life path number. And I also wanted to do a reading. Hopefully I won't be exhausted after doing here. And I can get home early enough to do uh, readings. But, and I also wanted to do, um, I'm reading over the energies here because as we can see, Mars is in Gemini starting at 358 or six or something like that in the morning. And it's gonna be weird. Okay. Very weird. All right. But Mars is, of course, if you don't know, it's one of those, um, one of the most important planets in your birth chart. And after all, it's one of the inner planets which have the strongest influence on your personality. This red hot planet rules over carriage, conflict, combat, drive, ambition, and sexuality. It has a strong tie to your ego and your overall sense of pride, making it one of the first planets to kick into gear. Whenever you feel threatened or attacked, Mars isn't staying in Gemini. Um, whenever you feel threatened or attacked, this is the planet here that's going to kick it into gear. So this is a time where literally things could get kind of heated. Okay. So you got to be mindful of your words and how you're feeling and things like that, because this is going to be, um, in this, let me tell you, it's going to remain in Gemini for seven months. So it's going to be very important that you find your center. Anybody with Gemini placements will be acting the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> The cons about Mars and Gemini is usually like unnecessary arguments and fights, issues with transportation, um, like car issues, overwhelming yourself, mental attacks, feeling like you can't focus, miscommunication, things like that. Um, it's okay to disconnect. This is a time where you're going to have to pour into yourself. So you already know we working on our healing, y'all. This is why I'm telling you guys this. And I, and I'm, I am, I'm going to try my hardest to do a reading on this tomorrow. Okay. So if you've been feeling stuck, lazy, bored, unmotivated, whatever, also expect changes. So it can have its positive side to it too, as well. Like the opportunities will come in, but you may get to the point where you're working yourself so much and you're overwhelmed. Okay. So it's just, it's about the balance at this point. Okay. It's about staying in alignment. And of course, if you are connected with a Gemini, all right, <laughs> you already know they may not be, they're working, they're working, working, but just know that the planet is doing something crazy here, okay? And it may get hectic and people may want to pop off, all right? So just protect your peace and pace yourself, okay? Now, um, yeah, so those are the two things I want to work on, y'all, the life path numbers and... Also, what I want y'all to do in the comment section, leave me what your life path number is. So I know which ones I can start, you know, kind of doing the readings with. I'm probably start off with like a little 10 minute reading or something like that. Um, just till I get the hang of doing them. Okay. All right, y'all. So thank you. I ain't gonna hold y'all no longer. Y'all have a wonderful Sunday. Peace.